Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn about pairs of lines. First of all, we have intersecting lines. Two lines, L and M, intersect if they have a point in common. Like this. Now here, the common point CO is called the point of intersection of the two lines L and M. Now you will find that two lines cannot intersect in more than one point. Next, we have transversal a line that intersects two or more lines at distinct points is called a transversal Here, line P intersects two lines L and M at distinct points. So, here line P is a transversal to the lines L and M. Now here, line P intersects lines L and M at same point. So, that means here line P is not a transversal. To the lines L and M because line P does not intersect lines L and M at distinct points. Our next topic is angles made by a transversal. Here lines L and M are cut by the transversal P. And in this we have marked the eight angles formed by the lines L and M with the transversal P. Here, the angles marked from 1 to 8 have their special names. So, let's see that. Angle 3, Angle 4, Angle 5 and Angle 6 are called interior angles. Now, Angle 1, Angle 2, Angle 7 and angle 8 are called exterior angles. Next we have angle 1 and angle 5, angle 2 and angle 6, angle 3 and angle 7 and angle 4 and angle 8. For pairs of corresponding angles. Now let us consider one pair of corresponding angles. Say angle 1 and angle 5. The corresponding angles have different vertices. They are on the same side of the transversal. Like here angle 1 and angle 5 are on the same side of the transversal and they are in corresponding positions like above or below, left or right relative to the two lines. Now, angle 3 and angle 6 and angle 4 and angle 5 form pairs of alternate Interior angles. Now alternate interior angles, say angle 3 and angle 6, have different vertices and they are on the opposite side of the transversal, like angle 3 is on the left of the transversal and angle 6 is on the right of the transversal and they lie between the two lines. 
that is L and M. Now, angle 1 and angle 8 and angle 2 and angle 7 form pairs of alternate exterior angles. And lastly, we have angle 3 and angle 5 and angle 4 and angle 6 form pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal. Let's move on to our next topic, transversal of parallel lines. For this, first of all, let us see what are parallel lines. Now, the lines, when drawn on a sheet of paper, do not meet how they are produced. We call them to be parallel lines. So, here, line L and line M do not meet anywhere. So, that means line L and M are parallel lines. Here, transversal P cuts two lines L and M at distinct points. Now, when a transversal cuts two parallel lines, we have Each pair of corresponding angles are equal. So here, angle 1 is equal to angle 5. Angle 3 is equal to angle 7. Angle 2 is equal to angle 6 and angle 4 is equal to angle 8. Next, we have each pair of alternate interior angles are equal So this implies angle 3 is equal to angle 6 and angle 4 is equal to angle 5. Lastly, each pair of interior angles on the same side of transversal are supplementary. That means angle 3 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degrees. That is they are supplementary. Also angle 4 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degrees. Now our last topic is checking for parallel lines. Here we have three rules. When a transversal cuts two lines such that first pairs of Corresponding angles are equal, then lines have to be 
parallel. Second, pairs of alternate interior angles are equal then lines have to be parallel and third pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary then lines have to be parallel now let's take an example here line l and m are cut by the transversal n and we are given the measure of these two angles and we need to check whether line l is parallel to line m or not so first of all let us mark all the angles over here now here we are given that angle 4 is equal to 136 degrees and angle 6 is equal to 44 degrees if we add angle 4 and angle 6 then we will get angle 4 plus angle 6 is equal to 136 degrees plus 44 degrees which is equal to 180 degrees now angle 4 and angle 6 form a pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal and they are supplementary also and we know that when a transversal cuts two lines such that a pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary then the lines have to be parallel so that means line l is parallel to line m with this we finish this session hope you must have understood all the concepts goodbye take care and have a nice day